The next pattern we're going to look at in the Composing Methods series is a very simple one called Inline Temp. This is often used in conjunction with another pattern we'll cover called Replace Temp with Query. And the motivation behind this is that you have a temporary variable that's assigned to only once by a very simple expression. And so you can just use that expression inline where the variable is being used. We just get rid of the variable, and there it is. Now, there could be other reasons to use this temporary variable. Maybe this property here, base price, is internally doing something more complex, something that adds a little bit of overhead, like making a database call. In that case, this temporary variable is being used to sort of cache that. Now maybe it's used in multiple places. In this simple example, it's only used once, so it makes no difference. But if this temporary variable might be used in multiple places throughout a larger function. But the problem with that isn't that this call to a property is expensive, that it's making a database call. The problem is that it's not encapsulating that database call. The fact that we have to externally cache that in a variable is something that the property should be internally handling. And so in that case, it would be a much different refactoring, one for a pattern that's not part of this series. But essentially, that variable would need to be cached locally in the object, but in that property and not outside. So here, we simply inline that temp, and we're done. This is often used in for example, when you're trying to extract a method and that temporary variable is getting in the way, maybe it's an unnecessary argument to that method or even an output argument to that method because that temporary variable is again used elsewhere, but its expression is something that's internal to the object and so we don't need this temporary variable being passed around so much. And that's it for inline temp. Thanks for watching.